morning and happy Friday. Well, if you were watching the vlog last night, you're probably waiting for an update on things. Ta-da! I have my baby back. Um, it is at the moment 5 in the morning and they came home probably about 3 a.m. Um, so I'm just going to give you a quick summary. i uh, not going to go into too many graphic details or anything like that, but basically Alfie has an upper, uh, an upper respiratory tract infection and gastroenteritis and he has, his eczema has flared up a lot. He's never had eczema before, never had an issue with it. In the last couple of days he only had a few dry patches on his belly. I did recognize them because I've had eczema in the past and Owen has quite a lot of it. Um, when he was a baby he had it all the time but now as he's growing up um, it's mostly when he's run down that it flares up. So, but because Halfie had never had any, it was surprising that suddenly he started from a few patches that were, they were not even red, they were just like the color of his skin, and suddenly it just became a big rash that was dry and red and more angry. So, I knew there was something not right there, but <coughs> he is now still quite unsettled. He seems happy enough in that position, even if he, oh, maybe he's not changing again. Yeah, he keeps changing position and he goes into the most awkward positions. But I kind of trust him to know what he feels more comfortable in. Excuse me, we're going to change position right now. He is full of wind and it seems to really hurt him. So. It's been twisting and shifting a lot and I'm kind of letting him find the right position to feel comfortable in but it's always like really like he's on my... Yeah, it's not always the thing that looks the most comfortable but I'm sure he will do what is right for himself. Um, so yeah, so they went to the hall, they were waiting in A&E so the doctor, uh, he was given some anti-sickness medication because he hadn't been keeping any food or fluid down for over 24 hours and he was starting to get dehydrated. Um, he hasn't taken any more, like much more since, but he's at least taking a few sips without being sick. And I do mean a few sips, like, like two sips of milk at a time. But I keep offering it to him and eventually it will, like he hasn't thrown it up. So that's really good improvement. He is, although he's not great, he's much better than he was yesterday afternoon. Yesterday he was really not himself and this is what really made me want to phone the out-of-hours doctors because I just thought, I had that gut feeling that there was something not right and I just, I just wanted to listen to it really. So, uh, and I was so glad because the doctors really took my instinct into consideration really well, which... I think should really be done because you know your child more than anybody else and you really can know whenever something is not right and that was exactly how I felt there and I'm glad I did because he's not so he's on antibiotics for his infection um, and we're gonna keep the painkillers up for the minute and hopefully I mean the stomach bug it's just a matter of letting it run its course it's a virus anyway so it's it's not much to do really so we're gonna deal with Maybe a bit more vomiting and some really bad nappies, but it's. I don't care about the mess, to be honest. I just want him to be comfortable and not in pain. So, James is more than likely going to stay off today. When they came home, I took over with Alfie, so I'm really glad I had slept before that because um, I'm not feeling the best myself. Like yesterday, I do have some form of stomach bug too. Uh, that's the one. It's probably the same thing Owen had, and we all had. And um but i was not well at all all day yesterday and um i had a lot of temperature my temperature did did rise up a lot during the night again but i'm fe actually feeling okay and my stomach doesn't feel really unsettled anymore so i'm hoping it's one of these 24 hour bugs like for Owen, it was about that like a day and a half and that was it so fingers crossed that's me like done i do have a very sore throat i'm very very prone to throat infections so I'm going to take some like um, like throat medication straight away to try and prevent it from getting any worse. But um, yeah, it's I'm relieved basically. I'm really relieved because I was very worried last night. Uh, 
I knew there was nothing dangerous, but you know, whenever your baby's in the hospital and you can't be with them, it's just... It was a matter... I, I didn't want to leave him, but I knew it was going to be the best thing for after, because it meant that I could sleep. Owen would be settled and wouldn't worry, and it meant that whenever James was back with him, I can take over because then he can sleep, and we can take him in turn to sleep during, like, during the day if we need to, and... If both of us didn't have any sleep, it would have been a nightmare to deal with everything today. So I think it was, even though it was very hard for me to leave, uh, I knew he was with James, so he would be okay. But it was, as a mom, it's, so, it's not easy. So, um, But I'm now really glad with my decision. I think it was the right thing to do, both for us, for Owen and for Alfie, because it means that today, um, like as soon as he got home, I was operational to take care of him and James can recuperate a bit and yeah I think for everybody that was the best decision anyway I'm not gonna ramble too long this was the main update so far uh, I have no idea to what today is going to be made of um, but uh, I guess we'll see as the day goes and we'll keep you updated it's quarter past six now and I'm getting really really tired fighting sleep so I'm gonna see uh, if I can bring him in my bed with me he doesn't usually stay sleep beside me and right now it's been third day he will only sleep on us because he's so unsettled but I am going to try him in our bed because if I can get a bit more sleep it would be amazing we just got a smile from Alfie uh, it is now half nine James has brought um, Owen to school this little guy just got another dose of antibiotics he did manage to get some sleep by interrupted and it has to be very very close to either one of us um but he's been pulling at his ears the way he's doing right now but um it's probably his way of <laughs> saying what's boring him but he's not as bad as yesterday right now oh, oh no so i think he's gonna stay in a vest for a wee while just trying to keep the temperature down. It doesn't feel that warm right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And his eczema is not as red and is much smaller than yesterday, last night. So, hopefully, we'll get there. Mm -hmm. As you can see, he doesn't look the best right now. I got Alfie a new toy. Out, well, an old new toy. It was Owen's before. It's been sitting in his room for ages, but he hasn't played with it yet. He's happy enough to play on the ground by himself for the minute. But all he wants is to tilt this to chew on the orange flag at the top, I think. Look at this cute little baby. He's finally given up <laughs> while watching James play the Xbox. What are you playing? Uh, well, Fallout 4, but. <laughs> I never ask you when you play another game, although you do play other games, don't you? But although Alfie actually fell asleep to the lava song. I put it on my phone and... Uh, yeah, but he was staring at that, so... Other game. I thought he was asleep at that point. Mm. He just fell asleep. So after my Playmobil rant about yesterday, we have the night pack. See at the top, that's the four characters, basically. And the one with the fairy... Yeah. Fairy tower thing. I'm going to build them now so then whenever Owen comes back from school uh, they will be all ready for him to play with and he can just get entertained straight away. Because sometimes, well I don't expect there will be a lot of building in those but um, some of them can take quite a few hours to build but these I'm expecting are smaller boxes so it shouldn't be too long but at least he can just play straight away. So there is the first set. Um, for like when it got today, this is the one of the main characters there. That's Elna all open, and so there is a door there that opens, I'm guessing to trap people or whatever you say to do in your adventures. But one of the cool features is that you put a character on that button there. Uh, I'm going to remove it because I can't do it one hundred there. And then here.
Well, she did. She did jump. Blurry. Oh, oh, hold on. Hi, we were back from school, aren't we? Yeah. And today, Owen started to learn about something new in school. What did you learn about? China. About China. Um, they have like themes going over a few weeks, and the next theme because it's the Chinese New Year, they are learning about China. Yeah, and 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 on the on the next two days, to be. To sign a new year. Yeah. About the monkey. Yes. And in the book we we let I went up to 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 why Bobby was close to like that called um sign a new year. Yeah. And do you know what's gonna happen on oh. Tuesday in your school? Yeah. At the, at the assembly time. Yeah. What's gonna happen? I know. There's gonna be a Chinese lion dance. <gasps> Do you know what a Chinese lion is? But I don't know a, a real dance class. Uh, I don't know real lion dance at my dance class. Oh, they did the dance on the Lion King music, didn't you? Yeah, but that's different. There are some people that go going dressed up as, well, it's called a lion, but I think it looks a bit like a dragon. And they do a, a, a dance to celebrate because it's the new Chinese New Year. And this year is the year of the monkey. It's your year. Yeah. <laughs> it's your year with Alfie. <laughs> and what did you get in the post today? This is this, 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 this. What do you think of your... In the mini my little cutsaba. 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 You are out. This one is best. This one is best. The fairy one is the best. This, this third one is the best, <coughs> and, and and this one is a little bit best. Okay. This what do you think of those toys? Best. Then are they really good toys or not? Yeah, they're good toys. Good. Can you play adventures now with them? You have all the people to do the super four, don't you? Yeah. Oh, we need to check all their names. Remember? Mhm. Mm I don't think this is really visible on camera, but. The light outside is really strange. Like the, the sky is almost orange. Like the sky is orange already. Very weird light. And and two weird rainbows. Can you see any of the rainbows? I was wondering if there would be a rainbow, but we haven't seen any so far. Looking for rainbows, but no, I don't think there would be a rainbow in there. But I can see a few rainbows. Uh, hidden behind the orange cloud. Oh, they are hidden behind the cloud. That's why I can't see them. Do you have magic eyes that can see through the clouds? Yeah, a little bit. All right. You're lucky. Where did you get those eyes? Can I get some? You can get them. Um. Can I buy them in Tesco? No, I got a special pocket. With with all the really kind of ones. Do you have loads of different eyes? No, the golden kind of eyes can let you um see um for a cat. You can keep these ones or we need another ones over them to see for the cloud. And I got your part oh. of new ones. Thank you very much. So, Let's I see now. Wow, I can see about three rainbows now. Can you see the rainbows everywhere around there? Yeah. They're amazing, aren't they? Yeah. I can see a pink elephant flying up there as well. <laughs> Look, can you see it above that house? Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, that's too sad. What about all these little animals running on the grass there? <laughs> what are these? Are they little sloths? No, there's no animals. Is there not? What are the, all these things running on the grass then? <coughs> I must have had magic eyes that can see other things than you. Maybe you give me animal eyes. I don't care, like, oh no, you got the bone arrow already. Phew! You should do that, me! Sunny, do you think so?
Sunny, nee, 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 because it's so we can. Go break your wall. Go break your wall. Sit in love. Go break your wall. Go So we're now in Owen's bedroom and he has his light up Totoro with him. It's like you're lighting a pillow that he loves and he can't sleep with that now. You have to have him all night, don't you? Yeah. But Totoro <laughs> is eating batteries <laughs> and he does have some Amazon basics Yellow rechargeable batteries. ones. Yeah. So we're using at the moment we just buy multi packs and here like that. But uh, unfortunately the rechargeable batteries don't work in it so we're just sticking to that because that's what solves a lot of issues for us at the moment. This little pillow, and so it this was. This is what a so we can like a, I can sleep with. Yes, but and are you picking another friend? Because Owen has so there's always like a selection on the side of his bed, and he picks a special one, don't you? So yeah. who is who else is joining you tonight? It's gonna be. Um, Pesa. Mm-hmm. And who this is? Aquila. Aquila Ala. And one more. But what about Totoro? I've turned the batteries now and I'm going to use it? Yeah. Right. Totoro. Totoro. <laughs> Wait, and where are the books you picked? Oh, oh where? The are they inside your bed? Blanket. Silly, silly. What did you pick tonight? Choupi, what's this one? Let me see. It's a Choupi ne veut pas se coucher, so that means ah. Choupi doesn't want to go to bed. And then what's the other one? A. There's another Choupi? Yeah. Choupi goes on the potty. A. Like this one? It's upside down. Oh, yeah. Well, let's read them. Yeah. Do you want to say night, night everybody? <laughs> <laughs> now let's this let's read your stories. Right monkey, time to sleep. Bed. Bed 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 bed. Because remember tomorrow you have an exciting day. Thank you very much for the sunshine. Yeah, so you need to have a big sleep, okay? Yeah. So then you have lots of energy to do all the fun things. Okay? Oh the two just have games. Mm -hmm. Do you wanna say bye bye everybody? Bye bye everyone. <laughs> <laughs> It's now 8 o'clock, um, Owen is in bed, Alfie is asleep on James and um, I'm going to stop the vlog here because right now I'm going to show you my living room. Um, -da, it's blurry but then there's all this stuff on the table and this and the kitchen is about a similar state. So I am going to tidy up all this and then I'm going to wrap the present for when's friend tomorrow and probably sit down relax do some editing um stuff like that and then yeah any work for tomorrow i'm going to do now uh, i've given up on the idea of sewing extra items for this week um alfie has been basically been attached to either james or me all day i have a really bad back so i'm struggling to keep him on me at the minute so james is taking him and he's actually <laughs> leaning back on his desk chair and watching TV shows, playing video games and stuff like that and he has Alfie on him uh, and it means uh, I did play with the wind quite a bit this afternoon and tonight I'm going to get some work done in advance for the next few days just in case. I'm hoping like Alfie is sleeping most of the time which is great. I think the more he sleeps the better. Um, first thing I need to do though is update my planner because next week Owen will be off for a week from Friday next week 
and uh, but next week there is like almost every single day there's something happening in school apart from one day on Thursday which is the day he has to leave school early to go to his appointment so it's great because he's not going to miss out on anything they have like a Chinese New Year celebration they have like a lion Chinese lion dance thing um, some Chinese food they are studying China in his class at the moment I think they are doing that for two or three weeks um, <clears throat> and then he has on Friday he has to it's a non-uniform day for charity for the Red I can't remember if it's the Red Cross or the, I think it's the British Heart Foundation actually it's the red they have to wear some red basically I th yeah it's the British Heart Foundation um, which have some red they have well these ashes Wednesday which to be honest I don't know what that is I just know they put ashes on people's forehead but <laughs> there's that going on um, and I can't remember but I will tell you on the days basically when it's happening but there's quite a few things I need to remember because I need to remember to have clothes ready and bring like authorization slips and stuff like that in school for those days so I'm going to update all this and then relax I will see you tomorrow for another vlog I hope you're having a good weekend and we'll see you then bye <music>